Cynthia Bumgarner, you're watching Blue Bud Sports TV. Wow. It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, legendary boxer, Hall of Famer, Roy Jones Jr. is assistant British junior middleweight, middleweight, and super middleweight contender, Chris Eubanks Jr. Uh, Chris Eubanks Jr. competes at Currently at 160, he was at 168, he competed at 154, so he fluctuated around. He says that he's uh, naturally a 160-pounder, 154-pounder. He just can't find the right opportunities and the right opponents, and um, so he just goes where uh, he's able to, you know, um, be able to secure a big fight. He's looking to secure big fights, right, and build his legacy. With that said, Roy Jones is assisting uh, Chris Eubanks Jr., He's helping him train. Chris Eubanks Jr. is consistently calling out undefeated two-division world champion, currently WBC middleweight world champion, Jamal Lions only Charlo, right? They fought on um, the same card, uh, and uh, Chris Eubanks fought, um, and he got, uh, he got a win, but that was more so due to the fact that his opponent, suffered uh Korbov suffered an injury. Korbov is a um former opponent of Jamal Charlo. So you can kind of see the build there. You know, uh, they, they wanted to test and see how he would do with a common opponent, right? And um it was a, a Korbov suffered an injury, so he got the victory due to Korbov suffering an injury and uh, not being able to continue which saw him become the interim um world champion. So with that said, he was calling out prior to that. He was calling out Jamal Charlo. They 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 had a situation where they couldn't even sit next to each other in the press build up, the press conferences, and things of that nature. They had to sit on the opposite sides, you know. And um, he was calling Jamal Charlo out. Uh, Chris Eubanks Jr. is never short on words, right? Um, he's very brash. He has an outspoken personality, and uh, he you know he wants what he wants, right? With that said, Roy Jones is in his video that you see, and Roy Jones is trying to teach him head movement and um, his style of boxing, right? And the problem that I have with this is, it's like Michael Jordan, right? It's like uh, Jerry Rice, Barry Sanders in the NFL. It's like, um, you know, um, Barry Bonds and, you know, uh, uh, when you have the talent that they have, you can't teach that. It's unteachable. They try to pass it off onto, you know, others and teach them. But what they have is a natural ability. Roy Jones was a freak athlete, right? He was the greatest athlete the sport of boxing has ever seen. And I don't believe you'll ever see another athlete such like in, in the form of Roy Jones. I think he was a once in a lifetime athlete, right? His speed, his quickness, his reflexes, his foot movement, his power, him, his ability to pull it all together. You can't teach that. Chris Eubanks Jr., he's te trying to teach him head movement, trying to teach him how to bob and weave in his uh, uh, form, how he does it. And see, that's why greats like Michael Jordan don't judge talent well. Because they judge talent based off of them. And they're the greatest talents to ever do it. Like I said, Roy Jones is the greatest athlete to ever box. You understand? If Roy Jones' reflexes and abilities uh, didn't just fall off a cliff overnight, Roy Jones was on his way to being the greatest boxer you've ever seen. Right? And some still argue he's the greatest boxer you've ever seen. You've never seen anything like Roy Jones. And that can't be duplicated. 
Chris Eubanks Jr. has too many lapses on defense. He has too many holes. He's too eager. He makes too many mistakes. His ring generalship, his ring IQ is not on par with that of Roy Jones. That's what made Roy Jones such a freak athlete. The fact that he had all of these tools and then he had a high ring IQ and a high ring generalship. He knew everything that was taking place. Roy Jones was 10 steps ahead of his opponents. He made his opponents look like they weren't, they shouldn't have been in the ring. Roy Jones played uh, semi-pro professional basketball games before fights. This the morning of fights. He he had basketball games, professional semi-pro basketball games, and then he would go into fights. Roy Jones is a freak of nature, and that can't be taught. And so that's why you get guys like Michael Jordan, and he's a um a, a, a owner and a general manager, and he can't find talent. Because he's, he's trying to get talent to equal up to what he used to do. And that can't be duplicated. Ironically enough, Michael Jordan, that documentary series, The Last Dance, he says, I'm trying to push my teammates to be on the level that I am. And they could never reach that level. The teammates was like, he didn't understand that we could never get to the level and do the things he was able to do. So Roy Jones is trying to teach him. If you look at the video, how Roy Jones is trying to teach him, Jamal Charlo is going to have a field day. Jamal Charlo is going to knock out Chris Eubanks Jr. Because Chris Eubanks Jr. tries to implement the style of Roy Jones. It's not going to bowl well with him. It didn't bowl well for Roy Jones as he aged and his reflex and that athletic ability slipped away. Prior to that, everybody in boxing, pundits, trainers, managers, announcers, uh, uh, journalists... They all spoke and said that Roy Jones do stuff that you absolutely would never teach. You, he does stuff that you say is absolutely wrong. But he gets away with it because of his ability. That's like no other. And so what he's trying to teach, Chris Eubanks can't emulate. And so Chris Eubanks trying, you see the style in which Roy Jones is trying to teach Chris Eubanks Jr. to bob and weave under the rope, Right? You know, under, up and under, up and under. But the manner he's trying to teach him in a dancing manner with rhythm, Chris Eubanks can't emulate that. He can't. This is not Rocky Three. You remember when Carl Weathers, Apollo Creed's character, was trying to teach Sylvester Stallone, Rocky's character, how to bounce on his toes, teach him rhythm, and teach him uh, uh, how, how his style of fighting. And then miraculously, at the end of the, a movie, he's able to emulate uh, uh, what Carl Weathers... Uh, character Apollo Creed uh, was able to do. He was able to bounce on his toes and bob and weave and run like Apollo and swim like him and so on and so forth, right? That's just that, a movie. Especially when you're not teaching from the bottom up. It's one thing if Roy Jones was teaching Chris Eubanks Jr. from when he was a child or from when, from birth or from when he was five, six, seven, eight years old. Not a grown man. He can't teach that. It can't be emulated. So trying to prepare him for Jamal Charlo with this style is only going to make it worse. I already thought that he was going to come up short against Jamal Charlo. I already thought he didn't stand much of a chance to beat Jamal Charlo. And I believe this just made it worse. Point blank and period. I love Roy Jones. One of the greatest of all time. One of my favorite boxers in history. But Roy Jones can't teach you to be uh, um, a boxer. He can't teach how to box because he's teaching from a standpoint of Roy Jones. And it's unorthodox. You have to be super athletic. It can't be emulated. Chris Eubanks Jr. needs somebody to teach him the basics. How to stay behind his jab. How to be patient. He needs a Buddy McGirt. Right? He has too many lapses on defense. Too many wild swinging punches. Leaves himself wide open. Jamal Charles is going to have a field day and eat him up. And he's going to knock him out pretty early, in my opinion. But let's see how this all plays out. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L D. B, C, shout out to New Media, shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Yo, oh, it is your boy Jaden Kiss. Make sure you check out Blue Blood Sports TV. It's going down.